This is Woodfill PLA. It is simply PLA plastic with super fine sawdust particles mixed in. And when you print it, it kind of gives you a facsimile of something that's created out of wood. And this stuff comes in all sorts of colors, but more common than not, you'll see it in this kind of light wood color. And when you print it out, it looks something like this. Kind of a uniform finish and just kind of that wooden texture. You can also stain it and treat it like wood. Pretty cool. But a few years ago, I was on the internet of all places and I came across this image where someone was actually able to recreate kind of a wood grain appearance by adjusting the temperature of their printing nozzle as they were printing their wood fill, in this case, a bowl. And I thought, that would be neat to try. And then I did not try it for, I don't know, 10 years until this past week. And I think in my effort, I actually stumbled on a new kind of a technique. So I'd like to share it with you. Could be totally wrong, so let me know. But I haven't seen anything like this before, so here you go. The result of this technique is something a little bit like this. Kind of looks like a cross section of a log, but it's actually a coaster with a TPU underside for, uh, you know, coasting. A single color, save for the temperature of the nozzle, which gives you that color variation. So let me walk you through how I came to this. First thing I created was this, which is um, like a cover for a thing I'm making and I wanted it to look kind of like wood on top. And all I did was when slicing the model, I chose the first layer to print in a concentric fill pattern. So it printed face down and this surface was touching the printer bed and I kind of sussed out different temperatures that will give you different colors. So for the lighter colors, we're about temperature we're supposed to be printing with, that's about 230 degrees. Then when we get up to slightly darker, we're talking about 250 degrees Celsius. Even darker than that, about 275. And then if you really want to push it, I pushed it all the way to the max temperature that my printer could handle. This real dark spot, was about 290. I left everything else, standard printing, speed, everything. And these tones are kind of what resulted from that. And as you can see, as it printed, and I, I did this a few different times, and then I did it with a circle so it actually looked like a log instead of a Minecraft log, you can see kind of that rough edge. And that's because this got so hot, the plastic was literally like liquid and kind of spread out a little bit. I did that intentionally because I wanted it to look kind of like bark, but if you don't want that, I would recommend printing a cooler outer layer and then to switch over to the darker colors. As far as the pattern goes, I just kind of looked at an image of a real log and just tried to copy it. What you get when you do this is, here's a failed layer. You have one layer that's kind of burned up and colored and stuff, and then you print more layers underneath it. But as you can see, it is a little translucent. So if you want it to be solid such as this, I would recommend printing at least two layers of that wood fill PLA before you continue on with your print. If you do want to switch to another color, you need at least two layers if you don't want it showing through because here's what happens when you don't. This is two layers and then I switch to another filament and you can clearly see where that switch happens. So two layers, one layer, two layers looks better unless you want your wood to be tinted red or whatever. And just a word of warning, this stuff is not meant to be printed at these temperatures. It's cool if you can make it happen, but you get some weird reactions as your print is printing. Sometimes the nozzle can get clogged up and it'll just spurt hot molten PLA plastic and uh, it's a little scary. So be very careful if you try this and uh, do not leave it alone. Watch it like a hawk and keep a fire extinguisher nearby. Another slight tangent of this technique is uh, this thing. This was actually two different prints that I layered on top of one another a la make anything's single layer multicolor printing technique. And for this I simply printed one layer with the temperature at an appropriate setting. I, I varied it a little bit to kind of get some fluctuations in the color but mostly I kept it on the low side and then for the darker wood grain I went in there and almost literally injected molten burned wood fill PLA to create these variations in colors. It doesn't look super convincing when you give it a glance, but it does work. And then a side effect, by the way, is I did a second layer on this one. And you can see when you do a purposeful second layer of a different color, you can really adjust the color of your final product. So this is what it looks like when you have one layer of wood fill followed up by a layer of black. It really tones the wood, so I guess you can do 
what you will with that information. Overall, like I said, I think I'm the first person to do this on like the first layer rather than throughout the layers, which is what I would like to try next. I'd like to try to recreate that original image and that original project. I would also like to find a way to automate this process because as it is, it requires kind of babysitting the print and just like switching the temperature as you see fit. So I would like to automate it so it's less of a pain and you don't have to be watching your printer for, I don't know, an hour, however long it takes to print your thing. Suggestions are welcome. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this process and I'm excited to make more stuff. I'm excited. I'm definitely gonna be exploring this a little more and I suppose this video is kind of a, a call to action for all of you. Any ideas, anything you wanna see me try to make with this technique or a similar technique, or if someone has done this before and is smarter than I am, let me know who they are so I can go watch their videos and learn a little something myself. Thanks a bunch, everyone. See you next time.